saw. And those things were in place yesterday. They were in place, but still, somehow this suspect was able to get into that position and wait for 12 hours. Liz and Jim, I did ask officials today if he acted alone. Did he have any kind of help? They say so far in their investigation, uh, it appears that he was by himself in this. Send it back to you in the studio. Thanks, Mike. Let's turn now to the federal gun crimes charges. The suspect, Ryan Ralph, is now facing. Our Victoria DeCardinus joins us with what happened during Ralph's first appearance today. This was a very quick hearing at the federal courthouse in downtown West Palm Beach this morning. Some reports saying it lasted less than 10 minutes. Right now, Ryan Routh is facing two charges, which is allowing authorities to keep him in custody. And as this investigation continues, more charges could arise as investigators learn more about the days and hours leading up to his arrest. Ryan Routh appeared at a federal courthouse in West Palm Beach Monday morning for his initial appearance following his arrest Sunday. Reports describe him wearing a blue jail jumpsuit, his arms and legs shackled, smiling and laughing as he spoke with his court-appointed attorney, Christy Militello. The U.S. attorney filed two charges against him, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon and possession of a firearm with an obliterated serial number. The Department of Justice confirming Routh was armed with a loaded SKS-style rifle with a scope, two bags, and a backpack when Trump's Secret Service detail spotted him. And there was also a GoPro on the fence there where he was uh, intent on uh, filming what was going on. Local gun shop owner Alex Schaub showed us a similar-style rifle. This one, an AK-47, and says the serial number is normally etched on the side of the gun. A normal person would never take the serial number of the gun. Schaub says AK-47s don't usually come with scopes, but that someone who knows how can easily modify the weapon to add one, making it more effective from a distance. So the scope is improving the shooter's capability of being uh, more accurate at um, a longer distance so uh, the, the gun has its own capability and then you have a person's capability so optics increase the person's capability to shoot uh, at, at longer distance making him a more accurate shot making him much more dangerous and making him more accurate correct Routh is a convicted felon so simply having a gun is a federal crime and the fact that the serial number had been eliminated to make the weapon untraceable is also a felony offense Together, on those charges alone, he could face up to 20 years in prison. And again, more charges are expected. On Sunday, Palm Beach County State Attorney Dave Ehrenberg said we can expect to see charges coming from his office. But this morning, he says this now falls under the jurisdiction of the federal government. A short time later, Governor DeSantis told reporters in Orlando he is going to launch his own investigation. So we're going to see how that will play out. For now, Ryan Routh is facing two charges. He's expected back in court on Monday for a bail hearing and then again in two weeks for an arraignment. Reporting in downtown West Palm Beach, Victoria DeCardena, CBS 12 News. The investigation.